Hey, Dr. Frank here from Integrative Dry Needling. Hey, I'm sitting here doing some research and I came across an article that we talk about and discuss in our courses, but I want to put some clinical relevance to it. And it's hypothesis done by McDougall. And he's saying osteoarthritis is a neurological disease, right? And when we think of OA, we think of mechanical stuff, right? There's age and, and, and obesity and wear and tear, those kinds of things. But he adds a different risk factor. He says neuronal impairment. He in fact goes on to say that joint health is completely under the control of the nervous system, which at IDN, we also agree with, right? A um, couple key points. He says the majority of nerves innervating diarthroidal joints, like a knee joint, are nociceptive, right? In and around the synovium in particular. But because they're free nerve endings and they have the ability to release sensitizing chemicals in, in conditions like OA and, and other pathological conditions, and that creates neurogenic inflammation and sends central uh, nociception to central processing, which we're going to talk about a little later, which is relevant. The other thing he talks about is the actual blood flow to the joint itself, which is innervated by postganglionic sympathetic efferents, meaning any disruption of this particular area, right, can cause neurovascular control issues. And that will reduce blood flow, resulting in joint tissue breakdown and certainly progression of the disease. The next one is proprioception. Now we're talking about large diameter fibers, right? And they're setting up neuroprotective reflexes, muscular reflexes to protect a joint. So anytime you're going to disrupt or damage or deteriorate um, this protective mechanism, you certainly leave the joint up for, to be more vulnerable for abnormal loading and accelerating that joint degeneration, right? So that's, that's one that's pretty common for us as, as clinicians. The one that I found the most interesting that he mentioned was he cited an article that said people with osteoarthritis actually have a atrophy in the deeper brain structures that are associated with effective aspects of pain and nociceptive processing, right? Literally a smaller area in that, in that area of the brain in those people with osteoarthritis. And when they got a total knee replacement, essentially removing nociception, that atrophy was reversed. Now, to me, that's a, that's a huge piece of this because when you, when you think about OA, you think about it as being quite mechanical, but it truly has a neurological base rooted in neurogenic inflammation. So this is why we try to affect or specifically target into the peripheral nervous system with anything, but I'm talking about with needling, because we want to have an effect peripherally, locally, of course, but also have an effect on the central processing. And we talk about that with our quantitative sensory testing. So anything we do peripherally has a central effect and vice versa, right? So hopefully you got a little different perspective on osteoarthritis when you're starting to think about doing some treatment. Hope you liked it. Thanks.